She's the anchor of the country's top-rated news magazine show, Inside Edition, right here on Channel 13. Now, Deborah Norville is ready to expose headlines in a new way with her new show that premieres tomorrow night on Reels. She joins us now with more. Good morning, Deborah. How are you? I'm great, JJ. Thank you so much for having me on. You're, you're very welcome. Very exciting. You're the executive producer and the host of this new series. What's your vision, vision for the show? Well, what we wanted to do, I mean, you and I have talked about this in the past. Um, there's so many interesting stories, but we get like this much time to tell them. And it's a little frustrating as a storyteller. So we wanted mm. to do something that was really a, a deep dive into the detail of some of the bigger stories that have a Hollywood connection that people have talked about over the years. And so there's nothing bigger right now or in the last several years than the Bill Cosby scandal. He'll be going on trial by June the 5th. The judges said the trial must commence by then on three counts of agro sexual assault but the allegations against Bill Cosby it turns out run the entirety of his career oh. unexposed which airs tomorrow night on the reels channel you'll hear from a woman who says in 1969 she was drugged and raped by Bill Cosby it is a story that has been told in variations by almost 60 women in the years since then and you're gonna hear from some of those women Oh my goodness. It must be fascinating for you as an interviewer too to talk one on one with these folks. Um, you, you'll be covering yeah. A, yeah, a lot a lot of Hollywood stories. You know, is it just a coincidence that there seem to be so many salacious stories coming out of Hollywood? I don't think so. I think I think Hollywood is really nothing more than sort of a microcosm of the rest of the country. The big difference is we know who those people are uh. because they're famous, they're in movies, they're on television shows, but Sexual abuse happens all over the country. Uh, financial scandals happen to everyone. We're going to oh. be doing a deep dive into the Bernie Madoff scandal. Kevin, uh, Kevin Bacon and his wife, Kira Sedgwick, lost $100 million. And oh. they weren't even the biggest losers to Bernie Madoff. So there's a Hollywood connection to that story. Um, so, so no, I don't think it's more in Hollywood. I think it just, it, the headline is bigger because it's a famous person. And I think we tend as, as you know, citizens, we tend to think, oh, well, celebrities are so privileged. They have wealth and connections and, and the ability to have great advisors. So when a celebrity gets caught up in a scam, just like, you know, a firefighter mm -hmm. um, is a victim of Bernie Madoff, you think, whoa, they got snookered too? Yeah, they got snookered too. Wow, so interesting. I bet you're, you're pretty close to that Bernie Madoff story being right down in town there in New York City as well. I mean, that, that really oh, happened absolutely. right there, yeah. huh? Yes, oh my goodness. Yeah, well, listen, everybody in New York knew somebody who was victimized by Bernie Madoff. There's a, oh. a country club in Palm Beach, Florida, where one-third of the membership, Bernard Madoff was also a member, uh, one-third of the membership uh, were ripped off oh. by, by Bernie Madoff. I mean, the, the extent of the uh, scandal was huge. It was believed that $65 billion in assets had vanished with Bernie Madoff. $65 billion is what the people oh. thought they had, because Bernie Madoff was making false statements saying, oh, you've got this much money. Mm -hmm. In fact, they didn't have that much money because he never traded any stocks. The actual dollar amount lost was $17.5 billion. That's wow. how much money regular people invested, and it's mostly gone. But incredibly, $11.5 billion has come back. So the trustee, and we're talking to him on the show, mm -hmm. has done an unbelievable job of tracking down money and basically shaking down some of these feeder funds that had been putting money with Madoff and not doing their due diligence about whether it was a smart place to invest or not, because the guy was a total scam. Wow, I tell you, that story just is endlessly fascinating. Uh, something else fascinating, you have a lot of very fun and exciting posts on your Facebook page. Um, official Deborah Norville is uh, a lot of fun to follow and I want to thank you again Deborah, for showing me how to cast on quickly that was like one of the highlights of last year when you came and visited the station here um, just want to give a shout out to to your worsted uh, wool yarn it has extremely high ratings on joanne.com and um, what's new Yay. in the world of knitting and crocheting um, I think what's, world in the, the, what's new in the world of knitting and crocheting is that it's actually cool to do. I think there was a time <laughs> when people thought, oh, it's 90-year-old you know, grandmothers who are knocking on heaven's door, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. We love the grandmas that knit, but there's a whole generation of men 
and women. I yes. got a lot of gnarly guys that use my product. Um, this one guy that I just love, he does a lot of um, design f stuff, and we've worked together on some projects. He's got like tats all over. He's like so not what I you think it. it would be. Yeah, so no, I think that's the headline. The headline is, it ain't what you thought. That's right. It's cool to knit. It's coming back, Deborah. Thank you so much. Great to it, see you. It's, thank you. Bye again. Hollywood and the dark world of crime collide on the season premiere of Exposed with Deborah Norville. Catch it tomorrow night at 8 p.m. on The Reels channel. For a preview, head to the website listed. And don't forget to catch Deborah on Inside Edition weeknights at 7 right here on Channel 13.